Joining us now by the phone from the hospital, Democratic Congressman Al Green of Texas, who made that stunning appearance to cast a crucial vote in the House yesterday. Congressman, first, thanks for joining us. First, your health. Sure. Are you doing okay? I understand you're still in the hospital. Thank you for having me. I'm in recovery. I have excellent uh, health care providers, and uh, I will recover. And I'm grateful that uh, you would give me the opportunity to speak on this subject. Well, thank you for taking the time. Walk us through how this came about with you rushing from the hospital just after surgery to cast your vote yesterday. I think it's important to start with how I got to the hospital. I was trying to get back to Texas. I had a full docket of things to do. And as I was trying to get to the airport, I went over to visit the attending physician, Dr. Monahan, who is excellent, absolutely excellent. And uh, they concluded that I needed to get an, an X-ray, and then I went to the emergency room. The X-ray revealed that I needed surgery, and I needed it immediately because I had a blockage in my intestines. I had the surgery. And I was always going to vote on this piece of legislation. There was never any doubt because I've always held strong opinions about Mr. Mayorkas, the Homeland Security Secretary. Mm -hmm. I believe him to be a good, decent man, and I don't want his reputation to be smirched in this way. I was looking at the news here in my hospital bed, and I saw that the vote was going to take place. I was, I was a little bit surprised. And when I saw this, I communicated with my chief surgeon, the hospital staff, the administrators, and we had... Uh, a meeting to talk about whether I could have a furlough. And in the process of going through that, I called Mr. Jefferson, not Mr. Jefferson, Mr. Jeffries, mm -hmm. and I explained to him that I intended to make this vote. So I never had any kind of secret plan. I was doing my best to get from a hospital bed over to the floor to cast my vote. That is. I got to the house, and when I got there, Dr. Monahan had medical professionals to take me to a bed. They were monitoring my blood pressure, my temperature, my heart rate. The entirety of the time I was there, I had nurse, nurses there, healthcare professionals. So when the vote occurred, I only came for that vote, to be quite honest. So other votes, while they are important, they weren't as important as this one, uh, because wow. I know this man. And when the vote uh, came up, I left the area where I was. By the way, Speaker Pelosi saw me in that area. She and I happened to pass each other. And I went up to cast my vote. There was no timing in terms of let's try to get in at a certain point in time. Okay. Uh, they pushed me in. I cast my vote. And as I'm sitting there, David Scott was seated next to me, Congressman. And he said, Al, the vote just tied with your vote. That means that they can't impeach him. Well, that was news to me. Really? I, I was there to make sure I had my voice heard because Secretary Mayorkas saved a child's life. Young boy, undocumented, didn't come here on his own volition. At Texas Children's Hospital, the hospital called me and said, this kid is down in Mexico. They caught him near the border with his mom, and he's in a place where he can't get any dialysis. He was a dialysis patient. They said, we need him back here. And I got in touch. And he got that baby back. Wow. So, so let me just jump in here for a second, because what you have just talked about is, is truly remarkable, that you had an emergency surgery yesterday. Obviously, that wasn't planned, even though you had not, planned not, to not be there the for surgery. the vote. Not yesterday. Not the yesterday surgery wasn't the surgery. yesterday. Got it. So no, that the, you just the clarified. Surgery, the surgery was Friday night. Gotcha. Friday night. Gotcha. But, so you were still uh, in was, the hospital it, following that surgery. Yeah, oh, yes. And you Believe went to, yes. to, to give your vote because you felt yes. passionately about making sure your vote counted to not impeach Alejandro Mayorkas. But you didn't realize at the time yours could be the deciding vote? Were, were you asked I, I by did. Democratic leadership to try to, to rush there? Or was this part of a, a broader strategy by Democrats to get you there? Mr. Jeff, Mr. Jeffries, Hakeem Jeffries, was the consummate professional. When I called him, his first concern was my health. And he said to me, Al, your health comes first. 
I called him, quite frankly, to let him know that I was about to Uber over to the Capitol. Uh, and that's, that was going to be my mode of transportation. And he said, well, Al, if you're going to come, we can get transportation for you. So I got the transportation. I never went to his office. I, I didn't secret myself in some place. I went to the area that Dr. Monahan had set aside for me so that I could continue my health care. And I assured these physicians here that I was going to do this because they were concerned, as, as I would want them to be, about my sure. leaving the hospital. Absolutely. Not, no, nothing planned, no, no trickery, just a, a person wanting to make sure my voice was heard, my vote was counted, because I understand who uh, Secretary Mallorca is.